The rapture is imminent. We are not returning back to normal. The world is not going back to normal. Normal is not coming back, but Jesus is coming back. I like how some um, YouTubers use that. Normal is not coming back, but Jesus is coming back. And while I'm taking a, um, a little break at work, it was just on my mind. Um, things have been feeling really weird. There's like something weird going on in the atmosphere again. And you know, when I feel like that, I let you guys know. Um, I feel we just got to keep watching you guys. Be, um, don't, you know, we don't set dates because no man knows, not even Jesus, but only God the Father knows when Jesus is going to return. Only God knows, not even angels of heaven. So be leery of those date setters that sin. Um, he was supposed to come back yesterday. He's supposed to come. He was supposed to come back a certain day last year. They were saying it never came because you're gonna get let down if you're following date setters. We're not to set dates. However, every day should be a high watch time. Every day should be a high watch time because we never know when it's gonna come. All we know is to be prepared because the rapture is imminent. And um, he's going to come back sooner than we think. We are living in times where um, chaos is happening more and more daily. This a new agenda is out here, out here. This new agenda that they have out here, which is in regards to the solution. And they're making it like, the solution is the savior, but only Jesus is the savior, not the solution. You got to think of it like this, guys. If Jesus sent the solution, if Jesus sent the solution, why are people dying from it? And I can't say the name of, you know, what I'm talking about, but those who have, who have been following me for a while knows if Jesus sent the solution, why have people died from it? Why have people get terribly sick from it? God would not, Jesus would not send us something that would make us sick. Jesus would not send us, um, send us something um, that would keep us paralyzed. Jesus would never send us anything that would harm us because he loves us. So why would he send the solution as our healer, as our immune system booster, but it's killing people. So we just got to wake up. Many are being brainwashed in these times and forgive that noise in the background. There is a storm coming. So that tends to go off before the storm, but just wanted to share that with you guys because many are being brainwashed. You have the very elect that are being brainwashed in regards to this new agenda. Um, all I'm saying is let's just keep a watchful eye out on the coming of our king. He promised to go to prepare a place for us and to come back for us. And that's why he calls it a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but shall... Um, he's going to raise the dead. And after the dead in Christ is raised, us who are alive and remain will be called up to meet Jesus in the air. Rapture is in the imminent. Normal is not coming back, but Jesus is coming back. And I know J.D. Farag used that in one of his messages too. So I wanted to share that as well because I thought it was pretty awesome. But let's keep looking up. Let's keep staying focused. Let's keep praying for each other and praying for our lost loved ones. Um, also, quick question. Do anybody else get irritated when you have people that are playing like, gosh, well, I'm going to do this in three and four years. And I don't know why that makes me mad, but it does. Like I have someone I know personally that always plans like, well, in three and four years, we're going to be doing this and that. 
And in the back of my mind, I get so upset because I'm like, well, gosh, I hope Jesus would have took me by then. And and that's why we got to live for today. Tomorrow's not promised. But, you know, some people, you know, that aren't looking for Jesus' return, they plan things four or five years down the line. Oh, no, I truly wholeheartedly believe it's not going to be another four or five years down the line. All I'm saying is, Whenever it is, and I truly believe it's soon, let's make sure we're ready. Love you guys with the love of Christ. Again, getting on super super quickly, as I know right when I get off work, I'm going to be running, running, running. So you guys stay watching and stay looking up. Repent also, repent. For the day of the Lord is that at hand. Repent, give your lives to God. Repent. Give your lives to God. Believe on Jesus today. Jesus is the way and the truth and the life. No other man can come to the Father but by Jesus. You can't come to the Father by Buddha. You can't come to the Father by Mary. You can't come to the Father by any of those idol gods. Only by Jesus Christ. Have a great day.